Hey guys, press the bell icon and never miss a video from Ayola DIY. Hi guys, so today I'll be teaching you all how to make this beautiful shabby chic panel and I've made this for the ongoing Prima DT call. Uh, it's very simple, very easy and all the supply list is provided in the description box below. And using these wooden trays by Prima, they are from a very old collection called Relics and Artifact. And the first thing which I'm going to do is cover it with some white gesso. Once that is done, I'm going to be using this paper collection called Love Story and it was Prima's 2018 CHA release. I've cut my paper into the size of the frame and I'm de-stressing it by roughening the edges and then applying some de-stress ink on it. Water is going to make the paper soggy and because of that it will be easy for you to mold the paper. So what I am going to do is that I am going to spray water on the edges of my small sheet of paper and then I am just going to fold it to give it some texture. After this, I'm going to merge the edges using some white gesso such that both the layers they blend into each other. And now I'm going to apply some plaster paste using my favorite stencil which is Script and I think it was by Crafters Workshop. While the paste is still wet, uh, I'm going to apply some embossing powder and this is by Lindy's. I'm going to link down the exact color in the description box below. And after that, I'm simply going to heat emboss it using my heat tool. And in the same process, my, plas uh, my plaster paste will also get dry. And usually plaster paste is easy to dry in comparison to other modeling paste. And now using a glue, I'm going to stick these papers onto my trays. And after that, I'm going to start my composition. For my composition, I will be using this flower collection called Calcutta. And it was very hard for me to find this one and scrapbook.com still has this. So before it goes out of stock, I would recommend you guys to go and take it. Uh, this beautiful grey colour, it's very hard to find. And the best part about grey is that it goes along with pink, it goes along with mint, it goes along with green. Uh, it's a beautiful colour. So what I'm doing is that to build up my entire composition, I've taken different different pieces like laces, threads and these die cuts. And the dye is from some random company which I had from a very long period of time and I don't remember which one it is from. And using the hit and trial method, I am going to lay all my elements on top of each other. So this part is pretty much self-explanatory. So I might uh, switch on the volume uh, to the higher side uh, once I'm done explaining what I'm exactly doing. So when I'm making my composition, uh, trust me guys, I have cut down more than 50% of the clip uh, because composition making is hard it doesn't come naturally and you'll see that in the side on my phone you can actually see the picture so uh, off the camera I made the entire composition click the picture so that I don't forget it and then I started putting all the elements together so here you see that I have attached both the trays I've put a picture in between and that picture is interchangeable uh, it is attached by velcro and once that is done, what I am doing is that I have taken some paper paste and using the same stencil, I am going to give some texture to the edges of my tray. Once the plaster paste is dry, uh, the next step which we are going to do is apply some color on it. And for this, I am going to be using uh, Art Alchemy Paints by Prima. Uh, they are of really good quality and using some water, I keep on diluting the intensity of the color and it blends very well so as i mentioned in the beginning of my video that i'm making this project for the ongoing prima dt call so guys 2011 was the first time when i applied for prima dt call and uh, since then it has been my dream to be part of this dt um, 
my work has changed so much back then i had not even a single prima product in 2011 when i applied for the first time and now i've worked with so many products i've worked really 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 hard for this call so guys please 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 pray for me that i get in i really want this time because i've worked very hard and i've tried to reach my best in terms of creativity now i have taken some art pebbles uh, it's called melange again by prima and i'm going to apply it all over my project uh, you'll see in my still pictures that it gives a very nice 3d effect and these look they look absolutely beautiful after that i'm going to take my soft matte gel and my favorite art stones in different different sizes and i'm going to cover my project with some art stones uh, i always tell this they are the best invention by prima Once uh, the matte gel is dry and art stones are adhered properly, I'm going to dry brush everything and this always helps me in neutralizing the entire project. So I've taken this dabbing brush by Finnabair and using some white gesso, very heavily diluted, I'm going to dry brush the entire project. So this would blend everything together and it would basically prevent my entire project from popping out way too much. and using my toothbrush and some paint i'm spraying white dots all over my project again to give it a very nice shabby chic soft look in the end i always like topping it up with a butterfly and a coat and this time i have used the coat called life is beautiful which indeed is and i really hope you guys have enjoyed this project please pray for me that i get into prima design team and i'm going to be creating more and more goodness very soon